Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how to make my awesome lentil loaf that is perfect for the holidays. So let me go ahead and show you all the ingredients that I use. So everything can't really fit in my camera, but um, here I've got one cup of oats, I've got one cup of um, soft whole wheat breadcrumbs, I have got two cups of boiled lentils. I boiled these beforehand. I've got one cup of nuts. Here I, I have a mixture of pecans and cashews just because that's what I had. And I have a vegetable mix here. This is literally just one half of an onion, two cloves of garlic, and a fifth of a stalk of a celery. And this has just been sauteed in some olive oil for a couple minutes till it's a little bit soft. Those are the main ingredients. I'll go ahead and show you what the seasonings are gonna be for this. Um, the seasonings include one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of rosemary, quarter teaspoon of sage, one eighth of a teaspoon of celery seed, half of a teaspoon of chili powder, um, I have half of a tablespoon of salt, and then one eighth cup of nutritional yeast. For this lentil loaf, the three um, ingredients that are going to have to be processed include the, the lentils, the oats, and the nuts. When I do this, I like to start with the dry ingredients first. Lentils are kind of wet, so I keep them to last. So let me go ahead and process the, and you can process the nuts and the oats together. Okay, and here's how you kind of want it to look. Not too much. As you can see, the nuts are kind of um, chopped. That's what you want. And then we're just gonna process these lentils just for a little bit, not too long. And now we just have fun dumping everything in the mix. Okay, so here's what the mix is gonna look like. Right now, you're just gonna let it sit for about five, five to 10 minutes so that everything can sort of bind together. Okay, so now my um, mixture has been sitting for about five to seven minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of work my hands in there. And then as you can see, it's forming more like a, a ball. You see that? So that's what you want. If you want the loaf to fill to the top of the pan, then just double the recipe. I'm gonna place some of my tomato ginger sauce on this. Okay, here's what it looks like. We're just gonna put it back in the oven. Now uncovered for about another 10 to 15 minutes and then it'll be done. Mm -hmm. 